Rusty's starting the Murphy bed. He had to have a lot of space, so we're doing it out here on the ground. He's cut some plywood over there. I think that's the box that will stay mounted to the to the wall in there. And then this, I think, is going to be his platform, and he's going to explain to you guys what he's doing. So here he comes. <laughs> he had to go get some more wood. All right, a sheet of plywood. It's not big enough for the Murphy bed. Because we're doing a queen, 60 by 80. So what I'm having to do is put two pieces of plywood together. And what I'm going to do is I'll clamp them together. And then I'll take the Craig jig, got a little Craig jig tool, and I'll drill holes in it. I'll mark where I want my holes, I'll drill them, and then I'll screw them together and turn the two pieces into one. And uh, then I'll cut it down to size that I need. And then when I build my frame that goes on top that the mattress actually sets in, then it will help reinforce where I've got my seam at. And you'll have, and you're going to have something there to help hold this up inside that board too we're watching guys because i have no clue this is all new to me I, I know <laughs> he kind of did a sort of he did a half murphy bed in our other cargo i'm going to show that to you guys one of these days right now it's a mess because we're putting tools and stuff in there but yeah. he kind of did a half murphy bed the frame so. that holds the mattress will be on top of this like this oh okay right on the edge of course this piece we cut down and then i'll i'll screw into it and, and what's going to hold back. this piece up off the off the floor i guess is what i'm asking besides the legs on the front and back is that all well, that's... this these sides will help oh okay hold it, it up too. off the floor okay Okay, so I'm going to try to record this off and on today. I've got my own projects going on right now in the trailer. I've been procrastinating on doing the cabinet magnets, and those are such a pain in the butt to do. But I'm working on those, get the rest of the knobs on the other cabinets. I have a few things in there to do. So um, I'm going to come out here, though, and hopefully catch a lot of what he's doing. So anybody else that's needing to build a Murphy bed, I know they're very, very popular in cargo trailers. So uh, hopefully Rusty can show us a easy way to do it, and it might help somebody else out. So that's what we're that's what's on our plate today, and I don't think I did a welcome or anything. So welcome everyone who's here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so we can get the video out to more people that are interested in doing a cargo conversion. And welcome to the channel back I'm working on the murphy bed uh the beds to mention because it's a queen size bed are 60 by 80 um i have of course you can't see it because it's underneath i've got my board spliced together and where is my splice oh got my board spliced here we showed you that earlier but now I've got it cut down to size. I'm fixing to make the outer box that goes around the box on the outside. Uh, now the outer box, outer, outer box, outer. This attaches to the wall and stays on the wall, right? Yeah, this attaches to the wall and stays on the wall. Bed folds up inside of it. So, whenever I made it, it is actually the inside diameter of this is 64 and a quarter no 65 and three quarters i'm sorry 65 and three quarters by 84 and a quarter that allows for my hinges to be on the ends so you got to remember you know your hinges hinges take up about an inch and a quarter so you got to make it a little bigger on the outside 
to allow for your hinges. So don't forget to do that. Um, we're fixing to start putting the outside boxes together. Uh, Sherry, you want to come over here? Yeah, I have a little And we'll... It's been a long day, so whatever my hair looks like, it just, it is what it is. <laughs> what am I doing? Are you need me over there? To no. No? I need you over there. Down on this end. We're going to oh. do this end first. Okay. You don't stay in the edge? I guess I did that. And you've already got your holes pre-drilled for your screws. Holes pre for the pocket screws. I don't know if you can see them, but they're in there. Um, I wish I had my vices. I wish I knew what a vice was. <laughs> because. Oh, my hand felt my hand was in the wrong side. Maybe. That's probably, that's okay. We can edit. Get over here where it works. Okay. My right hand instead of my left hand. I'm thinking this time to do it. Yeah. Sand it and sand it on these this plywood and then I told him I said no matter how much paint I put on it you're going to see knots oh yeah and sanded this and stained it well versus the uh the paint you'd be able to tell we've tried to paint old plywood or not old plywood but you know plywood so do I need to try to come down there and hold yeah it? so um so yes I changed it from a paint a white paint to a stain. So we're just kind of trying to decide exactly when to order our mattress for this. I am going to get the hybrid for us. And it's the one that has the individually wrapped coils on the bottom and all the memory foam and all the other stuff on top of that. And then this piece is ready to go in. But you still want to sand it and stuff. Yeah, so. so let me go grab my sander. I don't know if my cord will reach this far. I didn't use my cord. <clears throat> what I did is I every foot apart on each side and staggered them. Oh, so it comes out to six inches so apart. So six inches apart, which... If you're stitching three quarter inch plywood together, you want to do it about every six inches. Um, I am doing doubles. Because, and the reason I'm doing that is because my screws I have are fine thread instead of coarse thread. So I was like, oh well, I'll just do two instead of one. Those came from Oklahoma City, so not a quick time to take them back and exchange them. So. I just put extra plan, ones in. Plan B. <laughs> put extra ones in and make up for it. Okay. Maybe we'll still grab. Doing the best I can recording this, guys, because it's my, it's so bright out here. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day, but it makes it hard to see your screen. No. Only next thing I gotta do is figure out which way I'm gonna cut this for the bed. We'll cut it so it has the most strength. Okay, guys. This is the base that we were building yesterday that stays on the wall. And Rusty just put it on top of the, the fender well. I don't know if, how much of that you can see. But he put it on top of that and he built this little frame because we're wanting to use that as more storage space that we can put stuff in if we need to. And he just used these uh, L brackets right there. And... Um, so I painted the inside white and then I stained the outside. So this is what it would look like pretty much when the bed is um, down. So it's not intrusive at all. I was kind of worried about that. And now I'm going to take you outside and let you see what he's, he's working on the part that will fold down. Okay, so Rusty is now, this is the part that actually will be the moving part of the bed is what I'd call it. 
part that folds down. We make some cabinet, we'll have to make our own cabinet doors for those down there because, you know, they're obviously an odd size. But that he made, did that so that's more storage area for us because we're not going to waste any storage space at all. And um, so we bought the piano hinges, which if you're not sure what that is, let me show you guys real quick. Let me get this over here. I got them out here. These are the piano hinges. We had to get a couple of them to be long enough to go across the whole bed. And then um, the gas cylinders, which we don't have yet. And what we bought was some table fold-down things that we're going to use for the legs for the top part of it. And I believe they're going to show, but we're, we're okay with that. They're, they're not bad looking at all. Hi, everybody. Um, this is another new day, so I'm just trying to remember, but I have already started this video. So I don't have to do the whole welcome thing, but welcome anyways. So, Rusty made these brackets. He's, we, he, we're, we don't know if this is going to work. This is just something we're trying, and we thought we'd share with you guys. Rusty, um, tell him how you made that bracket. It was with a half, four inch. Okay, uh, it was a four inch red iron, 10 gauge uh, post. Yeah. It was just a drop piece off of one of our posts, off one of our steel buildings we built. Right. I took it and ripped the two corners and then which left kind of a V shape or L v shape. shape and then I took a piece of plate and welded in the bottom of it and this will bolt to the bottom of this and this will bolt to my two boards to give the corner support because the cylinders are going to be pulling on the corner and is that what that top thingy round the let, me try to, let me try to zoom in on that the yeah. top little eye here that's where my cylinder hooks in. Okay, and we, we, we have purchased, first we purchased 200 pounds, and we found out real fast, that's way too much. So we sent those back, and now we have two 30 pounds, so 30 pounds on each side. And then, of course, there's the one for the other corner. So there's one for each corner, and um, that's our plan so far with that. And, okay, real quick before I start... Um, bolting this one. I got the other one over there, as you can see, bolted with lock, what you call those? Lock nuts. Lock nuts. Okay guys, we've gotten um, everything bolted, the center, or those corner pieces bolted in. Now he's getting ready to start bolting in the um, piano hinge. Okay, now we've got the bed kind of propped up. And he's putting the rest of the piano hinge in. Okay, and Rusty, explain what's going on here. You just made some new brackets. New brackets. Because the ones that come with it wouldn't work. <coughs> Put the... <coughs> the ones that come with it, this part. Let me try to get oh, under see. here. Just get one of the brackets. Oh, he's gonna grab a bracket here and show you guys what came with it that didn't work. And it might work for yours. I mean, you know. Well, if you mounted them on the back wall, yeah, these would work. Okay. But I'm not minding this. And that's because the ones that we bought weren't really long enough to mount on the back wall. So if you do get that kind, well, get no, make sure you get them. I don't have anything solid back there to mount oh. it to. Oh, okay. Because all that is is B-board. Oh, okay. But, well, see, this one was, and I needed the ball. I needed the ball going this way, not this way. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Now, if I mounted on the back, it would. But I don't have anything back there solid enough to mount this to. Okay, guys, um, Rusty got the first cylinder on there, but he I didn't record it because he wasn't sure if it was going to work, and I didn't want to have to delete and cut everything out until we got it figured out. But it did go on quite well. Okay, as always, um, <laughs> Rusty came over here and started working on it, and I wasn't really paying attention, and he got it in. But all he did was he drilled a hole in there, and he bolted that on both sides of that of this 
inside board. And then down there, of course, that's the, uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, that's the ones we bolted in uh, earlier on this video. And I've just got the tape put on there. That's that Gorilla Tape I was showing you. Um, because it's really, 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 really thick. And so I'm, I'm certain that that's going to keep it from rubbing a hole in our mattress. Um, so, that's where we're at. Um, we're going to try it and see that it works. I have to put our legs on here. So what we have purchased are, let me see if I can grab one. These are for tables, brackets, that whole they claim like 300 pounds, so there should be the two of them on there. Anyway, we're going to do those. Those are going to be our legs. And then we're, we bought this piece of board right here. And we're going to cut it down to 60-something inches, what we just decided. And we've got some trim for that, that board, too. So when the bed is up, it's going to look like a shelf. But then those that board and the hinges are going to serve as a... Uh, as the legs when it comes down and then if we want to put something in here because we got the folding table kind of hinges like there's one that he, we've unfolded um, since we have the folding table kind of hinges it's also something that we can still fold up Rusty wait do we come down far enough because of the being able to fold that wide board up if we want to fold, fold up it'll fold down. down okay it folds down never mind so Anyway, so that's what we're doing. It's going to look really cool. A little, you know, it'll be a nice little shelf when the bed's up, and it'll be the legs of the bed when the bed is down. And it'll still fold down to get it out of the way if we need it out of the way. Because our plan is, is that when this is up, our chairs are going to go right there so that we can watch TV and sit in front of the fireplace. Isn't that cool? Okay, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to help him, and we're going to get started on these, getting these legs up. We gotta go cut our board real quick. And it's hot. It's Oklahoma and it's July fourth today. This is what we chose no, to I'm do on our that board and kill in the morning. Oh, okay. So but that's kind of where we're at. Okay, so this is the uh board that we bought. Let me see if I can get a kind of better angle for you. It's a little fancier looking, not wasn't real ex I think maybe twenty five bucks. It was eight foot. Rusty cut it down. I'm getting ready to grab it. I'm going to go sand it really good, um, and he has some trim. Let me show you guys. Here's a little piece of the end trim, but we have some this trim right here we're going to be putting on it. Well, you can't put it right there because it's the legs. I can't remember how he said he's putting it, but anyways, he's putting trim on this to make it look, maybe down here, to make it look a little nicer. I just dropped it. <clears throat> so that's the next job and if you're wondering about the wall then you probably haven't seen my painting video I do have a video on how I did this wall so you can go watch that um, I'm gonna go sand that and we're not gonna stain that at all we're gonna I'm gonna leave it blonde and I'm just gonna put some poly acrylic on it when it's all said and done and then we also have already sanded this one that's the other end of that piece that one's going to go right here so that when we're sitting here in chairs, we'll have a little end table that we can set our stuff on. I painted a whiteboard already for this, and but since I have this piece, I like it better. It'll match the mantle. So, and I do, we ended up using the extra, he felt more secure putting all four of these uh, brackets for the legs since we're going to be, you know, that's going to be supporting, the that's the legs for this pretty much. And uh, so I'm going to have to get on, jump on Amazon and order a couple more for this little table. And then everything will fold down out of the way. It's not really that much in the way, but it will fold down and we can get it out of the way, especially this table. And I think this table's too long right now, so we'll probably end up having to cut it down. And I'm going to do the same thing with it. I'm just going to put polyacrylic on it, no stain. Okay, that's where I'm at. I've got to get busy and get some sanding done. Okay, so um, you can probably tell I took the sharp edges off of that board and sanded it really good. I've also have five coats of polyacrylic on that board. It's not screwed in yet because Rusty wants to. I also uh, did the put some polyacrylic on this, and he's going to attach it to this board before. Um, before he screws it down 
But anyway, so that's pretty much done. I was trying to get back a little bit so maybe you could see it better. But that's that one. And then up there, I'm letting... That's the one that we'll be putting down here for our little side table for our chairs. And then this project will be done. It will probably take him 20, 30 minutes at the most to tack on his trim and to screw that board down. Then... We might need probably 10 or 20 more minutes to go get the mattress and bring it out here. And we'll be ready to put the mattress in the box. Oh, and he still, he, I forgot. We still have a little bit more to do. This side white right here, where I have got some paint, state paint on there when I did the walls. And um, that's going to have another trim on it because he wants to make it so that these, this gap doesn't show at all. I don't know why it's a big deal, but it is to him. So he's going to be putting some kind of trim that will hide all that. So I don't have to worry about that. And I'm not sure what I'm doing with that trim yet. Probably the same thing, just put some polyacrylic on it. Or I might take some of this leftover brown paint that I have, maybe and just paint them brown so they'll kind of match. I might do that because that would look kind of good. I could paint them brown, just a solid chocolate brown that I bought. And do that so yeah that's where we're at so far okay there's the shelf done and um, he's gonna be putting the trim on and then we're gonna do the mattress and then this project will be done okay so this is our last video um he put that trim on there and what I did with it, since I, the shelf was cedar wood, so I didn't stain it or anything. I just put some polyacrylic on it and the trim too. So he bought cedar boards which I for the trim, which I did not know that originally. So I did it the same way. And I just think it turned out we put the handles on there. And it kind of looks like the English style carriage door is what we kind of went for. And... Uh, so there's our murphy bed completely finished if you have stuck with us this long through the video thank you very much we really appreciate it please don't forget to like and subscribe the video so we can share it with other people and you guys have a great day we'll see you next time rns life after 55